So Connor, first things first, the kick around this afternoon, did you win? Yeah, we did, uh, one by one goal. I'm not sure if it was 12, 11 or 13, 12, but yeah, thankfully we got the win. So They moan at us every, uh, on their podcast every week, so it was good to beat them. Now they're, to be honest, they're good lads. It's always nice. When, I think it's special when you have a club that has that connection with the fans. So they're all, they're all really good lads. And obviously me and Hutch have been on the podcast, so they did a brilliant job. And I, we listen to it weekly. It's a, always a good listen. So um, it was good to have a bit of a laugh with them. So all in good fun. So good, good to get the win down. Obviously, I think they owe us a few quid now. <laughs> Good to hear, although me and Karen will be pressing to play next time. Uh, so on to the football then, we registered another win last Saturday against Boston, a complete second half performance. Yeah, I think, uh, obviously fair play to Boston, they got a chance early on and took it. I think we probably should have been a goal up prior to that, but in terms of complete control and domination, I think it was it was an excellent performance for the 90. We should have, probably didn't deserve to go in the 1-0 down, but I think the, the willingness to keep sticking to what we do and keep believing in our philosophy was, was good from the lads and we didn't panic at any point and always felt like we'd come back and win the game and obviously that's what happened, thankfully. So really, really good performance and important to obviously keep that momentum going that we've got. Do you think there's really much of a difference between the first and second half or was it just down to, to clinicalness in front of goal? Um, so we made a few tweaks at half-time. Uh, we, felt, we felt the overloads were outside centre-halves and you can see in the second half how much more progressive they were with their starting positions and obviously how they travelled in with the ball. So, and obviously that, that shows in Tavares scoring a goal in open play in the middle of their six-yard box. So we were just a little bit braver with that. We, um, we, we recognised where the space was. They tried to go, go man for man against our tens and left a lot of space for outside centre-halves. I just think second half we were a bit more aggressive with our play. So, but to be honest, it, it's tough when, you, um, when you're a team like themselves coming up and you get an early goal you can get sucked into coming, especially obviously with our home record. I felt that they just sat in there and tried to protect that. And it's a long time to try to protect the lead when you haven't really got any of the ball. So, testament to them, they did, I thought they defended excellently. Um, but once the first one in, we knew it. We said to the lads, one will bring two, if not three. So, we knew at half time, once we got that equaliser, it was only going to go one way. And thankfully, that's the way it turned out for us. Looking ahead to this weekend, then, it's the FA Cup. How much do you look forward to this competition every year? It's, it's a special competition. I think you, the old cliche, I think you hear a lot of players. Um, English or or from abroad, they come over and the, the big the big history of the FA Cup and everyone knows about it. it's it's the most famous cup competition in the whole world. So, it's not, I've I've been fortunate enough to have a lot of good runs in it um, as a player uh, and also when I was a member of staff over at we'll get a big run as well. So I've, I've got a lot of rich history within it myself and it means a lot. It's a, it means a lot to the club. It can be massive in terms of bringing in finances for the football club as well. So we won't take the game lightly. We obviously want to go and get through to the next round and, and also keep that momentum going that we've we've built at the minute. Obviously yourself, you said you played that and had a few good ties back in the past as well. So how do you sort of sell that to the players as to as a lifter of motivation heading into Saturday? Uh, I don't think you have to because as I said it's it's so it's, it's spoken about all the time. Um year on year it's about I know obviously people can say that the, the magic has gone a little bit but it's definitely not within our football club and within the clubs that I've been at. So the players will know that there'll be a lot of players that will, will want to get certain ties and obviously to get to that stage you have to get to the second, third round to get them bigger teams. So but the lads know how important it is and how big it can be and, and what an experience it can be. So we relay that all the time, but they don't need any any um, reminding because it's such an important competition. And obviously, as I said, it can be massive for football clubs at our level to, to go and try and get a run in it. Yeah, and is there any updates on the injury front at all? We've got lads coming back. I think obviously you could see in the picture Danny Collins has been back out on the grass this week. Um, obviously too soon for him to feature tomorrow, but good to have him back in training. Chapman's obviously back in training. Um uh, Billy's back in training so there's lads coming back as I said obviously I touched on Billy last week so the lads coming back whether they'll be used tomorrow is obviously a different story but it's really good to have the reinforcement coming back because obviously you never know and this obviously if we draw tomorrow I think the game goes straight ahead on Monday so we, we're going to need bodies in, in this be, uh, busy period so it's important to get like, lads back Chelmsford had the opponents what do you sort of make to them? Is a play, play them Obviously in the league below us at Willstone and we played them a couple of years ago in the FA Cup here and drew one all to a last minute goal from them. So they're a tough team to play against. They um I mean they've won six in a row themselves, so two really informed teams coming together. Uh work hard, we'll press hard, they'll be athletic. Not an easy game at all. And as you said, as I said, they're in good form in their division. So tough, tough team to play against. They've got some really exciting players, young players. They seem to do really well with their recruitment. Obviously, we've got Adi Aluo from there and Jermaine Francis. So we, they do pick out some good players and they've got a few good ones winning their ranks at the minute. Thanks for your time, Connor. Cheers, guys.